The Spill is brought to you by Lanza, Walker Valley's best partner. for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now will everyone bow their heads for a moment of silence. Good afternoon, Mustangs. It's Friday, September 16th, 2016. I'm your host, Trinity. And I'm Carrie. Now it's time for your daily announcements. Sign up for the fall camping trip to Pigsa National Forest in North Carolina on October 2nd and October 3rd. The cost is $40. Sign up with Miss Dressler and Miss, Miss Tifton. Only the first 25 to sign up will be allowed to go. The Oceanography Club dues and references are due by September 20th. The first meeting will be September 23rd in Ms. Swafford's room B214. If you do not already have an application packet, it is available in B214. Returning members must pick up a sheet. Students, representative with the Election Commission will set up, be set up in the cafeteria on September 20th to register students to vote. Students must be 18 years old by November 8th. You also need to know your social security number and have your school ID. Attention 10th and 11th grade students. If you're interested in applying for a governor school this upcoming summer, applications are available at this time. There is a link to the governor school applications on our school website. Please keep in mind that these applications are very detailed and will need to be done ahead of time. Applications for the Arts of Governor School are due on October 24th and all other applications are due on November 24th. 21st. The deadline for completed applications to be turned in is 3.30 p.m. on those dates in the Counseling Center. FBLA Mustang Joe coffee sales have begun. You may order from any FBLA member or online at www.creativecoffees.com using the code WVHSFBLA. All FBLA members need to pick up your coffee packet from Ms. Brady beginning on September 13th. All packets and money are due back on September 28th. Now we're going to take a quick break for the question of the day. Uh, I would drop diss tracks every day, like every single day. Uh, overly average Savage would be coming back. That's about it. It's a wrap. You know, I probably um, <laughs> I probably just sit at home, watch TV and stuff, play video games. And this guy, I would want to travel the world. Uh, I'm gonna like, like, I don't know, fun stuff. I would spend it on a lifetime supply of M&Ms because you know, please, please sponsor me. Um, thank you. 
Uh, I'd buy a bunch of cars and houses. I would build a log cabin in Seattle and move there and live there for the rest of my life. I would spend my time in Sephora. I would probably go to Ireland and just live in practically nowhere. I would make music and play guitar. Students, if you are interested in the Cormatec Advanced Manufacturing Internships, please get an internship packet from Ms. Walker or see one of the Advanced Manufacturing teachers. Warren Walker Valley student will be selected to participate. It is a paid position and the student will work from 3 to 7 Monday through Friday with potential to work extra hours. Students interested should have completed two classes in the Advanced Manufacturing Focus area and be at least 17 years of age by October 17th. Volunteers are needed for the Let's Talk About It event at the Charleston Park on October 15th. This event is to raise awareness about domestic violence. The hours are noon to 9 p.m. If you are looking for service hours, please call 240-1455. The Alzheimer Association is hosting a Walk to End Alzheimer's event on September 24th at the Cleveland Greenway. If you're interested in helping with this event and receiving service hours, contact Lauren Luckhart to volunteer. Her email is lluckhart at alz.org. Returning Beta Club members, please pay your $10 yearly dues to your grade sponsor through September 23rd. If you're interested in becoming a new member of Beta Club, please see your grade sponsor to pick up an application. Freshmen, if you went to middle school somewhere other than Okoy and were in the Junior Beta Club, please see Ms. Welford in B111 for an application. The National Honor Society yearly dues are $10 and should be paid by September 30th to Ms. Wood, Ms. Everett, and Ms. McChesney. SGA is happy to announce that for the first time you have the opportunity to paint your parking spot. If you would like to customate your parking spot, customize your parking spot, see Ms. Ball and G208 for an application. The cost is $50 per spot and your design and application must be submitted for approval by September 19th. Painting days will be September 24th and October 2nd. Any senior that has not picked up an ACT retake voucher should see Ms. McClanahan in the counseling office before September 16th. If you have trouble signing in, see Ms. McClanahan for assistance. 10th and 11th grade students that would like to take the PSAT should bring $16 to the counseling office by September 21st to sign up. There is a limited number of spots, so please sign up quickly. FBLA is now accepting membership applications. Students can pick up applications outside MCLA 3. If you were a member last year in FBLA, you need to fill out a new membership form and turn it into Miss Brady MCLA 3. All forms and fees are due by fall break. The Remind 101 code for FBLA is now posted outside of MCLA 3. Stop by and join the group for important information and reminders. Nominations for Homecoming Court will take place in MAP. Voting for King and Queen will take place on Monday, September 19th. Now let's get to your weekly gaming corner video. Hello, and welcome to this week's gaming corner. I'm your host. Hunter, and today I'll be showing you Payday 2, one of my all-time favorite games. This is a cooperative FPS developed by Overkill Software and published by 505 Games. The game is a sequel to 2011's Payday, The Heist. It was released originally on the 13th of August 2013 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Ever dreamt of robbing a bank as a kid? Then this fairly simple game is for you. Two years after the events of the previous game, a new gang comes to the Washington DC area to rob banks. The player takes control of one of the gang's 16 members and heists alone, with up to two AI players, as four-player cooperative play, or some combination of the previous. Heists include robbing banks, jewelry stores, and armored cars. 
stealing prototypes, art and artifact theft, rigging elections and even framing corrupt politicians, and many, many more. The game differs on the previous by allowing much more customization of the player and reworking its stealth mechanics. The game consists of a variety of heists that a player can opt to either carry out by themselves, with the AI, or as part of a multiplayer game. There are heists such as bank robberies, rigging an election, or stealing smuggled nuclear warheads. Some of the heists put a large emphasis on stealth, often leading to bonus experience points and money on completion. The level selection menu is styled as a fictional website, crime.net, where missions pop up periodically as contracts in a map of Washington DC. The player can pick up an open contract, join a contract another player has started, or buy a contract with in-game money in an offshore bank account. There are five difficulty levels, with increased money and experience payouts for higher difficulty levels. Independent of difficulty is the pro job condition. Pro jobs give additional experience, but cannot be retried if the players fail. Some contracts in Payday 2 take place over multiple days, with each day represented by a separate level with different objectives. After a day is complete the game may add an escape level, where the player's original escape is thwarted and they must survive to reach their backup getaway. Now on a more personal note, my favorite thing about this game is the customization. You can freely change your character in a variety of fashions for various reasons. Whether it be for pure stealth, fully tank, medic, or mixed like I play, you can customize your character to your personal tastes and gameplay manner. Well, that's all the time we have today. Until next time, I'm Hunter, and this has been your weekly installment of Gaming Corner. Now let's take a commercial break and then to Cooper with your Walker Valley Sports. The word of the day is barrage, a certain of artillery fire, any overwhelming attack as of words or blows. All right, guys, so homecoming week is next week, and in order to make it the biggest and best week yet, SGA has put together some very broad themes. We understand that these could be a tad bit confusing, so I brought some SGA members together to give you guys some ideas. Let's take a look. Hey guys, Monday is Past versus Future Day, and this is up to your interpretation. You can dress up as your past self, future self, or show off what the future may look like, or just join the decade you wanted to be a part of. Hey Mustangs, Tuesday's theme is Classy versus Tacky. This idea ranges from dressing as tacky as a Christmas sweater to prepping for a party with a great Gatsby. What's up, Spirit Warriors? Wednesday is Lumberjack versus Western Day. You can grow out your beard, throw on a flannel, or grab your cowboy hat and holster up. Thursday's theme is my personal favorite, heroes versus villains. This ranges from TV and movie protagonists to comic book foes. So pick your favorite hero or villain and kick some butt. How's it going Mustangs? Friday's theme is class wars in the valley. Each class will show up in their designated color to support their class as well as repping some WV pride. Freshmen wear white, sophomores wear gray, juniors wear gold, and seniors wear blue. Keep it real, Mustangs. On Thursday the 22nd, right after school, SGA will be hosting the homecoming games. The games will take place in the front circle and will include cornhole, spike ball, volleyball, dodgeball, and many other activities. After the games, we will have lots of food, fun, and music, so be sure to come out and show your Mustang spirit. Also, the Masquerade Homecoming Dance will be on Saturday, September 24th from 7 to 10. Tickets will cost $8, and if you want to bring a date from another school, be sure to get your forms in the main office today. The forms must be turned in by Monday, September 19th. No late forms will be accepted. Bring your masks, bright colors, glow sticks, and your school IDs, and let's make this the best homecoming dance yet.
Walker Valley Sports. Presented by Talk 101.3 The Buzz, your home of the Walker Valley Sports Zone every Monday night at 6.30 p.m. Happy Friday, Mustangs. I'm here with your Walker Valley Sports. College football Saturday is tomorrow, so let's get to your Fast Five Fridays presented by Travis Godfrey Sales. Hello everybody, welcome to Fast Five Fridays presented by Travis Godfrey Sales. Denny Collins joins us once again. He'll be here every week actually, but um, we got five really good games this week, a lot better than last week. Um, our first one, we're going to go to Louisville, Kentucky, Florida State at Louisville. Game day is going to be there. What do you think about this one? It's going to be an awesome game, going to be a track meet. I think Florida State missing some key players on defense. I like mm -hmm. Lamar Jackson. He's played great against middle school opponents. Let's see what he does <laughs> against Florida State. I like him. I'm taking Louisville big, 37-34 in an upset. Yeah, I got, I got Florida State in this one, actually, because Florida State, like you said, Louisville hasn't played that tough a competition, and uh, Florida State has already proven themselves, like, I guess, against Ole Miss, and even though they got down big, of course, they, they went on that big 30-0 uh, run, and so I got Florida State in a tight one in this one, 28-27. Uh, let's go to Auburn. Texas A&M at Auburn, big SEC matchup. Um, Auburn looked... I guess you could say look competitive against Clemson in the first week, but didn't show us a ton. It was more Clemson played bad. And Texas A&M got a big win, I think, in week one against UCLA. What do you, what do you think? Yeah, this A&M's playing really, really well. Great quarterback play, great offense. I think that's going to continue. I like Texas A&M on the road, uh, tough environment. Uh, Auburn will pr prove to be a, a big opponent early, but I think Texas A&M pulls away. Again, a lot of points in this game. I'm taking A&M 44, Auburn 31. This one's tough for me because you never know when Miles on. He seems like he can pull some tricks out of his bag, but I think the offense is honestly um, going to struggle. It's more when they get down to the 30, it seems like they struggle when, when they get around that red zone area, I guess. And I'm going to take A&M in this one. I think they get another big win early in the season, and I think this is, of course, going to boost them to later on in the season, except for when they play Tennessee, of course. And um, let's go to Boomer Sooner, Boomer Sooner Oklahoma. Um, Ohio State comes to Oklahoma. We, who you got in this one? Big game Bob going to strike or is uh, Urban Meyer going to take it over? Big game Bob, <laughs> Urban Meyer, great matchup uh, between two uh, potential Hall of Fame coaches and two great programs. Uh, I like Ohio State. Oklahoma is going to be a tough place to play, uh, but I think Oklahoma is down this year. Uh, Ohio State, I think, always plays well uh, on the road. I think they're going to continue that trend. Ohio State with good quarterback play is going to pull it out. Uh, Ohio State 24, Oklahoma 14. I think this is going to be a really good matchup. Um, I think, of course, like I said, big game Bob. I don't like to give him any credit, of course, because he always rags on the SEC. But in this game, um, I'm going to take Oklahoma for the simple fact that I think, I think they want some redemption from a couple weeks ago when they lost to Houston. That doesn't mean they're going to win, of course, but I got them in this one against a tough Ohio State opponent, 27-21. Um, to 21. Let's take it to Ole Miss, Oxford. Is, is uh, Hugh Freeze going to be Nick Saban's kryptonite for the third year in a row, or is Alabama going to get him? I think Alabama's going to get him. Uh, you know, back-to-back -back years, uh, Nick Saban has, has uh, tried to go in and take care of Ole Miss. It's not happened. I think, uh, you know, he's got a great record in, in revenge games, so they call mm -hmm. him. And I, uh, I think uh, they put the pieces together. Last year's game, Alabama probably couldn't have played a worse game. Uh, Ole Miss couldn't have played better, and they squeaked it out. I like Alabama in this game, uh, and I think it's going to be big. I think Alabama's going to you know, really uh, move ahead from Ole Miss. Uh, I like Alabama 34, Ole Miss 17. Yeah, I want to apologize to Coach Smith ahead of time for this. So I'm going to take Ole Miss for the third year in a row, I think. Um, you know, I'm going with more of my heart on this one, of <laughs> course, um, obviously. And, you know, the first couple of weeks, unless you ask Nick Saban, Alabama's looked pretty, pretty good. <laughs> and... Um, that first week when, you know, USC was supposed to be a tough, and I know that's in the past, you know, they got to focus on this week, but they looked really good in that first game, and they looked, they looked pretty good last week. But I think Ole Miss, for some reason, they seem to always play, play bigger than what they will the rest of the year in this game, and I don't know if that's just the emotions of the game. I'm going to take Ole Miss, of course, in a close one. I think it's going to be 24-17. to 17. 
Now it's time for our Travis Scott Free Sales Game of the Week. Um, we go to Notre Dame, Michigan State at Notre Dame here. Who do you have in this one? Well, first we got to give some love to last week's winner. Yeah, Dalton Jr. Dalton Jr. <laughs> Congratu congratulations to not running back Alex King, uh, the brother of Dalton King. Alex King, our winner last week, successfully picked uh, Pitt over Penn State. Uh, and a big week for us again, 8-2 and two on the board uh, to uh, both of us, 8-2. and two. So someone call Alicia Keys. These girls are on fire, uh, and we hope to continue that this week. This game, uh, I like Notre Dame. I, I think uh, Tyler O'Connor, the quarterback in Michigan State, uh, going to try to do what his predecessors couldn't do, win at Notre Dame, and I think it's going to be too big of a task for them. I'm taking Notre Dame at home uh, in, in a big environment. It's going to be kind of a grinded out a Big Ten mm -hmm. type game, I feel like. Uh, I'm taking Notre Dame 17-10 uh, to 10 over Michigan State. Mm -hmm. Again, for me, um, that redemption factor comes in where they lost a big one a couple weeks ago against Texas. And I think if they get to that point again, you know, this is a big game for them. And a lot of people are going to be watching. And I just think that they just don't want to lose two games early. And, of course, nobody does. But I think um, Coach Kelly's going to get them ready. And I think Notre Dame's going to win a close one in this one, somewhere around the ranks of 35 to tw uh, 28. And I got the Irish in that one. Well, that's all for your Fast Five Fridays. Tune in next week for our next Big Five Games. Thank you for joining us. The Lady Mustangs volleyball team defeated Cleveland in five sets yesterday for a huge district win. Kaylee Walker had 11 kills, 2 blocks, and 22 digs, while Allie Grace Lemons had 7 kills, 2 blocks, and 3 digs. The JV Lady Stangs also defeated Cleveland in 3 sets. Also, good luck to the Lady Mustangs soccer team this weekend in the Cleveland Classic. Everybody, be sure to come to the Princess Pancake Breakfast, hosted by the Varsity Chillies tomorrow at Applebee's in the morning from 7 to 10. Well, that's all for your Walker Valley Sports today. Tune in tomorrow for more updates on your Mustangs. I'm Cooper, and now, again, the Master Forecaster, Wayne, with your weather. Walker Valley Weather, sponsored by Channel 3 Eyewitness News, coverage you can count on. Hey, Walker Valley, I'm Lane here with your Valley Weather. It's currently 75 degrees outside. Expect to see some cloudy skies with a small minimal chance of rain today. The high today is 94 with a low of 69. As you go home today, the temperature is expected to rise up to around 93 degrees. Now let's take a look at your radar. As you can see, for the most part, the radar is going to have clear skies throughout the day. Let's take a look at your five-day forecast. Looks like we will have a chance of rain over the weekend going into Monday. Well, that's all for your weather today. For more information, check out WRCBTV.com or download the app. I'm your weatherman, and everyone have an amazing day. Be sure to check us out on Twitter at The Spill TV. Like us on Facebook or check out The Spill app available for iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. That's all for your show today. For a complete recap of The Spill, check out our YouTube channel. I'm Trinity. I'm Carrie. And I'm Cooper. Everybody have a great weekend. Right. Yeah. Hey. I don't know.